on the DL55, the choke is arranged in such a, a way that it's almost impossible to actuate the choke from the rear end of the motor uh, due to the radius of the curve at which the choke arm moves. It has to be moved from the front. So what I did is I used, of course, flexible line like so, have it through a guide, goes to a bell crank, uh, which is homemade. Uh, of course, this is where the uh, push rod hooks up from the servo from inside the airplane. Uh, the other end, through, the, through a suitable amount of mechanical advantage, as you can see, uh, works through uh, a solid arm. And I'll demonstrate how the choke works here real quickly. It's hooked up to my transmitter. I have to have a long arm. Hope you can see how it works. And of course, you adjust the travel to make sure that the choke fully closes or fully opens or anywhere in between. And it works fine. And uh, this is how I mounted it. I used two of the engine mounts. One here, and one up here with a homemade plate. And uh, it's very solid. And it's gonna work out just fine. Have not been air tried or have not tried it yet, uh, you know, uh, to make sure it works okay. But uh, just from experience, I think it's gonna be fine.